Eric here with May West Manufacturing. We get a lot of customers asking, what is the difference between poly cup flighting and poly straight flighting? This video will help answer most of those questions and help you order your next poly auger flighting. People often ask, what's the difference between poly cup flighting and poly straight flighting? As you can see, poly cup flighting has a cup to it make an ideal for gently handling grains, seeds to reduce breakage. Poly straight flighting is great for handling fertilizer, corrosive materials, and is also safe for food handling. Poly cup flighting is available in five, six, seven, and nine inch diameters. Poly straight flighting is available in two, three, four, and five and five eighths inch diameters. One of the most common questions people ask is if I can't find the exact kit I need in the Maywest catalog or website, how do I place a custom order? The first step is to reference our chart identifying the most common styles of auger. Gravity box top drive, gravity box bottom drive, folding auger, transport or air seeder auger, bend and load with drive shaft, or bend and load for power head. Next, you will need to determine what diameter of flighting you will need. So how do you determine what diameter you need? Straight flighting will be 3 eighths to a half inch smaller diameter than the outside tube diameter. Cup flighting will be one inch smaller than the outside tube diameter. If you are replacing a worn module and aren't sure of its original diameter, measure the outside diameter of the hex tube and reference our hex tube chart to identify the correct replacement module. So let's say you have a gravity box auger with a top drive. You will need to know the overall length as well as the flighting length and the motor connector style. For your motor connector style, you'll need to determine if it's going to accept a one inch key shaft a inch and a quarter key shaft, a one inch stub shaft with a through hole, or an inch and a quarter stub shaft with a through hole. If you need a shaft with a keyway in it, you will need to add the shaft to your order. Then, identifying your motor connector style, if your motor connector is a stub shaft, you will need to order a bushing that accepts the stub shaft. If your auger does not have a stub shaft, you will need to order a board bushing to accept a stub shaft. Next, determine what drive shaft you need. Do you need a keyed shaft? Or do you need a shaft with a through hole in it? A keyed shaft will have a slotted cutout approximately an inch and a half in length at the end of the shaft to accept a keyway. A through hole shaft will generally have a 3 8 inch hole 3 quarter to 1 inch on center from the end of the shaft. All 5 and 6 inch flighting is standard with 1 inch shaft. For 7 and 9 inch flighting you can order a 1 inch inch and a quarter, inch and a half, or two inch drive shaft. You'll also need to determine if you want to use a galvanized hex shaft or a stainless steel hex shaft. A galvanized hex shaft is generally used for seeds or grain handling. A stainless steel hex shaft is generally used for fertilizers or corrosive material. For every 10 feet of auger, you will need to order an all-hex connector. 
or augers are shipped in sections to reduce shipping costs. The connectors are required to assemble the sections to the length you need. If you have a folding auger, you will also need to order a folding connector. You will notice on the folding connector, it does come with this cable. This cable helps you align the two sections of auger as they come together. So let's place an example order. I have a gravity box auger top drive with a one inch stub shaft motor connector. The overall length of my gravity box top drive auger is going to be 16 feet. My tube has a seven inch diameter. I am going to use this auger to handle seeds. To place my order, I will need 16 feet of polycup flighting on galvanized steel shaft. I will also need a one inch ID bushing to accept my one inch stub shaft. Because this auger is more than 10 feet, I will need one all hex connector. And lastly, I will need to order a one inch stub shaft that will go into the one inch ID bushing. I hope this answers your questions on ordering poly cup flighting or poly straight flighting. It typically takes two weeks to manufacture your custom poly cup flighting auger or your poly straight flighting auger. During the planting or harvest season, please allow extra time to receive your order. Also remember, on all custom poly cup flighting augers and custom poly straight augers, there are no returns. Any questions, please give us a call. To order, visit your Maywest dealer, check out our website, or give us a call.